Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this afternoon. I hope you're doing really wonderful. And so we will be talking about what is going on across the Caribbean. So there is a blob that is just outside the region bringing rainfall to parts of the southeastern islands. We'll be looking at that as well as the latest for 96L. And there's also 96E over in the Pacific. We'll briefly talk about that as well. And of course, uh, there is a new tropical wave that has emerged from the coast of Africa. So we'll be looking at all of that in this update. So before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. All right, and so we're going to be kickstarting things looking at this surface chart. And here we can see all of our systems that are marked. We have four tropical waves, one of which is in association with that disturbance 96L, which has a high chance of developing into a tropical cyclone during the next seven days. So not a threat to land, but uh, we could see some gradual intensification of it, and it could become our next named storm, Emily. And so the most recent tropical wave is that one that is marked off the coast of Africa that will continue propagating towards the west. Uh, there is one that is in the Caribbean right now moving across the eastern Caribbean Sea and another that has now entered the eastern Pacific which we could see develop into tropical storm Dora as we're going to be heading into the new week. So let us look at the satellite imagery. Here we can see all the activity going on across the region. So we will be moving westward. So we're starting with that most recent tropical wave and here we can see all this activity off the coast of Africa. So uh, this should continue to make its way to the west as i said there is some dry air out there so we can see some of these uh showers and thunderstorms diminishing at times but uh let's see what's going to be happening with it as we progress through the new week but some models are hinting that this will try to get itself together but uh we're not seeing where it is marked as an area to watch for the next seven days at least as of right now so we'll continue to keep you guys posted on it let us continue toward the west and uh next invest 96 l here we have the system let's take a close to look at it and we can see that it is not producing a whole lot of activity right now most of that convective activity is to the northwest of the system and going to the visible satellites here we can see it so we're not seeing where a whole lot is going on for this uh for the disturbance right now maybe due to some of that dry air intrusion so let's see how it's going to progress over the next couple of days but again it is given a high chance of development a 70 percent chance through the next seven days so imminent development is unlikely and as we look at the model intensity guidance, we can see that being depicted as well because uh, there we have the forecast hour. So this is as we go out in time and then the wind speeds up there where we have that green shade that is tropical storm force winds. The yellow indicates category one intensity. So as we go out in time, we can see that most of these models are not showing that this will become a tropical storm very soon. If you're hearing some rumbling, that is a thunder. So in my area, we're currently experiencing some thunderstorm activity. So uh, there we can see that there is uh, these different models here are not expecting imminent development. However, as we head further out in time going through next week, maybe by the next three or four days, uh, that will be when it actually gets itself together and uh, become a tropical storm. Again, Emily is the next name to be used out there. But for now, as I said, not a threat to land. And so we're moving on to that blob. So uh, as I showed you guys earlier, tropical wave is in association with the disturbance and they're going to separate that low pressure area with the disturbance is going to be separating from that tropical wave and ahead of it there we see all of this shower and thunderstorm activity so Barbados in particular has been experiencing some uh, rainfall from this you can confirm in the comments let me know what's been happening for you guys but uh, we're seeing that some of this activity is also moving into St. Lucia and St. Vincent but most of that activity is taking place uh, across Barbados so that is really the only area feeling most of those impacts in terms of the heavy rainfall maybe some thunderstorms at times so this is going to be lingering out there and uh, could eventually bring rainfall to more areas and so in the event of very heavy rainfall flash flooding is a possibility and so guys please take necessary precautions and stay safe when required look into uh, the Caribbean Sea right now we can see that little area there of some uh, convective activity now that is in association with a tropical wave moving across the eastern Caribbean and uh, we can see some of that activity drifting up to Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands uh, maybe bringing 
some thunderstorms to northeast, uh, northwestern Puerto Rico uh, and some cloud cover to parts of the ABC Islands, but nothing crazy going on. As we look to northern South America, we see some thunderstorms developing across some parts of Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and uh, over into Central America for Panama, we see lots of activity there, so likely a lot of heavy rainfall, especially in the eastern side of the country. Going up a bit to the north now, so we can see that there is some thunderstorm activity across some parts of Cuba in the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, western Jamaica. So it's really western Jamaica that is uh, experiencing most of the action. Not everywhere, but some areas are experiencing uh, some activity right now in my area in St. James. We are experiencing some thunderstorms as you would have heard earlier. And uh, we also see some activity in the vicinity of Hispaniola going to the Turks and Caicos Islands and even parts of the southern Bahamas. And then looking at Central America, here we are seeing a lot of activity and that big blob over there is in association with that low pressure area so the chance has been increasing for that to become a tropical cycle so uh, that is designated as invest 96 e not l l is over in the atlantic e is over in the eastern pacific so uh this disturbance is located off the coast of guatemala and here we're seeing that it is given a high 80 percent chance to develop during the next seven days a 40 percent chance for the next 48 hours but that blob is looking quite healthy even though it is producing those disorganized uh, thunderstorms so conditions should be conducive to allow for some gradual intensification and we could be looking at tropical storm dora within the coming days but for now there is quite a bit of activity across some parts of Mexico, going to Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, even down into parts of Costa Rica as well. Uh, so guys, in the event of heavy rainfall, please stay safe as flooding is likely and there likely has been flooding uh, through this week, especially going to the latter of this week because of all the rainfall increase. So a lot more rainfall within the area, so please stay safe. And so guys, that is what is happening right now across the region. So again, we have several tropical waves as well as that this Turbance 96L, uh, which is likely to become Emily sometime maybe the early to middle part of the coming week. And so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And that is pretty much it for this update. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond as best and as soon as I can. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.